For older folks, it can be hard to find opportunities to socialize and to get fresh food. So South Carolina's Department of Aging is bringing an opportunity that allows older adults to do both of those things right here in Fairfield County. It's called Lunch at the Market, and it's making its debut in Winsboro next week. So joining me now to tell us all about it is Connie Munn, the director of the agency, and Rowan Goodrich, the nutrition program director. Thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so talk to us a little bit about this program. You know, what inspired this to get going? So it was truly a collaborative effort between the South Carolina Association of Farmers Markets, mm -hmm. the Department of Social Services, the Department of Agriculture, and of course, our agency, the Department on Aging. And we were really trying to think of ways to bring farmers markets and senior centers together in these planned events so people can socialize, um, and have lunch, but also have that opportunity to um, purchase fresh produce from mm -hmm. our local farmers. Got it. So talk about why lunch at the market is going to Winsboro specifically for this one. So the project itself is very organic, meaning each county and each farmer's market is kind of in their pilot project phase for this first year. Mm -hmm. And so the farmer's markets are taking that first step to plan the event and we are helping make those connections with the senior centers. And so Fairfield, and we did have one in Barnwell last okay. month, and I'm here in Union County, we'll be having one in August, so okay. there'll be more coming. Awesome. Um, what are some of the different food options that people can expect? You know, I know that there is a big emphasis on bringing fresh and local stuff to older folks here. Right, so the things that you'll probably see are the things in season right now, so we're gonna see um, tomatoes, bell peppers, collards, you'll probably see blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, all delicious things that are fresh um, and good for you, of course. Definitely. So I know there's a social element to this too. You know, of course, having fresh produce is always beneficial to your actual health, but there is a benefit too to the social and emotional well being. Talk a little bit about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Well, we know our older adults are isolated, and so at the Department on Aging, we want to focus in on that and, you know, bringing them into our community. We're very big on the community. Um, many times as you're growing up, a lot of your best conversations are around that kitchen table. So mm -hmm. having an opportunity for the older adults to come in, get fresh produce, and then have a meal together is so important. And, and, and our seniors just love that. And I'll say part, I was just going to share this as well. Part of what we have bought at the Department on Aging is this cookbook. So uh -huh. that all of these products that Rowan just talked about, produce, they can go home and have the cookbook and figure out how to make these items. That's amazing. So I love that you guys have this. Yes. Let's open it up. Show me one thing in here that is something that people could make if they come and they get some produce from well, the market. Let me find a good one. Here is easy corn cakes. Okay. So we all love corn in the summertime. <laughs> so this would be a great, great recipe and easy. For love them to that. Do. Yes. I absolutely love that. I know you mentioned that you recently had this in Barnwell County. So talk a little bit about what the feedback was like. Oh, we had a really good feedback. And like I said, every event is a little bit different mm -hmm. because it, it is, you know, it fits the community, right? Um, so that event was very successful. We had about 20 individuals from the Senior Center attend mm -hmm. and they got transportation to get there. And sometimes that's a barrier. So the Senior Centers offer transportation. So that's a great access point. Um, and then we also had staff from the local, like the Area Agency on Aging, mm -hmm. providing resources and services and doing assessments there too. So there's all kind of things that happen at the market. Um, those individuals also were able to get senior farmers market um, program vouchers mm -hmm. so that they were able to use their vouchers that day to purchase some of those uh, produce items. Okay, and I know that there are certain communities here in South Carolina that are more rural communities, are more of a food desert, you could say. Um, is that something that plays a factor into where the agency considers taking this market? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I will, we'll both kind of touch on that. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's important because. Um, that is where we need to be. And so just bringing the collaborative efforts with the Department of Agriculture, the Farmers Association, mm -hmm. DSS, and ourselves together to make sure that we're not missing and we're filling all the gaps there. Yeah, absolutely. So even in Fairfield County, mm -hmm. um, just having that opportunity to have a, a fresh market. And it's an indoor market too, which is even nicer. You can get a little bit out of the Ooh, heat yes. that day. Nice yes. in the sun. Um, so it's just a great opportunity where even low income individuals who have SNAP benefits can use their EBT cards, mm -hmm. um, use their vouchers and use Healthy Buck tokens to get more produce. 
Awesome. And I know that this must be something that is so wonderful for their mental well-being, too, to just get to socialize, you know, with others at the event. Absolutely. Yeah. That, Thank that's you. so important. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much, both Connie and Rowan, for being here. This event will be next Wednesday, July 31st, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Fairfield Farmers and Artisans Market. It's located at 117 East Washington Street in Winsboro, and the event is open to everyone in the community. So it is sure to be something excellent to come out to. Of course, it's a little more geared towards, towards older folks, but everyone is welcome to come out and enjoy a great time. Thank you again so much for being here with us today. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. We have more at Midday coming up after the break.